it's wonderful to welcome you here to the TEDx Gateway stage. And uh, since you were here three years before, three years ago was the last time you were here. Exactly. And uh, so uh, there've been some exciting things happening to you. We make sure that you can. We're both going to attack you. You see, uh, but um, tell us some of the things that have been happening to you since you were last here at TEDx Gateway. Thanks so much. Um, when I was here last, I was introduced as an artist. And since then, a couple of things have changed. What I realized about the art world is it's akin to masturbation. Uh -huh. A lot of potential, but it goes nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> Good ideas. <laughs> oh, thank you for the few people who appreciate that. The um, silence in the room means I everyone's know. thinking about that. Am I allowed to yes. say that? <laughs> Shaking hands with the unemployed. No, you can't say that. <laughs> but. But what I found is art is wonderful. It's great at creating ideas, but I wanted to take them to the real world. And what I did is I used to use technology to try and, and bring it into the art world. And so now I've taken a little break. After 17 years of being a cartoonist and an artist, I've actually stopped painting completely to become a technologist and take art into the tech world because I think we need to shake up technology and we need to bring some crazy artists in the mix. And so that's what I'm doing right now. And uh, is it true that you were recently made a National Geographic Fellow? I was made a National Geographic Emerging Explorer, yes. So tell us what that means. It's actually a very, very special thing for me, um, if you may indulge me a little. When I was eight years old, my, I come from a nice Tam Bram family, you know. And my father, uh, every meal was an existential crisis. <laughs> and, uh, and he said, when I was eight years old, he said, Raghava, who are you? I said, Pa, I'm Raghava. <laughs> then he said, if I named you, if I change your name, will you change in front of me? I said, no. He said, then who are you? I said, I'm this person. He said, that changes every seven years, every cell. Who the hell are you? And what I found is I'm actually not defined by, by any of these things that change. I'm an explorer. And I've always felt that way, but I've never been given that title. And as an artist, I was always judged by the success in the art world. So now I define myself as an explorer, and I'm really honored to be among a few uh, people who are not ologists in, in National Geographic. To shake it up a bit, it's 125 years old, it needs some shaking. So since you're not an ologist and you're an explorer, what are you doing? What are you exploring these days? I am exploring um, rethinking knowledge itself and education. Okay, and how are you doing um, that? I did this exercise. I made everybody draw a triangle. Just draw a triangle in your brains. And what you'll find is all of you all are drawing isosceles triangles with the base and the bottom, which is a bit of a shame. That's not what a triangle is. And so I wanted to shake up knowledge itself and visual knowledge. I have an app. It's called Flipsicle. It launched just now. And it's to shake up the way we communicate. In fact, you said that the mobile phone is going to not be used for making phone calls, but for actually being a, a device that's, that brings life and music into your. So for me, I use the mobile device as a way of asking in words, but answering with photos. Wow. But are you doing this for education? I mean, right, OK, so maybe we all think of it as an isosceles triangle. But what are you doing it for? Are you trying to open our minds through art? Or what, what, is, what do you want to do with this? I hate education. I never studied. So I would never start another Thank education. Thank God. Yes, good. <laughs> uh, I think education is what's... For all the speakers who spoke about education. Yeah, it's bullshit. Don't about. listen to them. <laughs> <laughs> no education. Who needs it? Um, education is what someone does to you. Learning is what you do for yourself. So, yeah, thank you. Uh, thank you. Um, I wish it was an original quote, but <laughs> it's not. Uh, but thank you anyway. Um, I think I do this because I want honest communication. And um, you know how photos on Facebook are, oh, this is the party I went to that you are not invited to. <laughs> These are the sexy people I know that you don't know. <laughs> but the photo can be a, a unit of thought and conversation. And so that's what Flipsicle is trying to do. It's trying to communicate with photos. How does it work? 
You ask yeah. in words, you say what's in front of you, or who is your hero, any question. You ask Flipsicle. You ask a crowd okay. uh, in Flipsicle, okay. and they answer with photos. And when you answer oh. with photos, the photo is not about truth, it's your point of view. That's, That's why, I, this is my empathy monkey. And what it does, everyone needs an empathy monkey. And what it does is it asks, what's your point of view? And that's the flipsicle in his hand. Then. That's the flipsicle in his hand. Let's see that. Can we see that? Oh, yeah, right. Wow. That's <laughs> so that's strategically your own, placed. Your own Hanuman. That's. It is the Hanuman langur. Of it's an, it's going extinct. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're we not need to make it out. extinct. So yeah. when you get this stuff together, so you ask everyone what's your point of view, and they give you say photographs. What are you doing with them? Are you then using them, or are you just leaving them there? What I mean, what. Do you know Where the do you fun go from here? The funny thing is, can I try, a, I have a, a few minutes, right? I'm going to try an experiment. You guys finished tea, right, and coffee? You're a little awake, right? No. No. This is the best audience. I love coming to TEDx <laughs> Gateway. <laughs> <laughs> okay, a little exercise. I'm going to ask you to either get up or raise your hand if it's true for you. How many of you here are parents? Ple lazy bastards. <laughs> Put your hands down. <laughs> Okay, how many of you exercised this morning? Well, smaller, okay. Good, honest group at least. Honest bastards. <laughs> um, how many of you actually made money gambling during Diwali this year? Ooh, that's where the party is, guys, tonight. <laughs> okay, thank you. The last question I'm going to ask you is, how many of you said I love you to somebody this week? Wow, my God, romantic, sappy bunch. I'll tell you something funny. Simply, it's proven. I'm the one talking, so shh. <laughs> you know, it's proven that simply the act of asking someone a question and seeing how others answer it with you gives you a dopamine spike. And that experience is what I want to bring to the app. I want you to feel collaborative, inclusive, and not lonely. There are so many apps out there. Why the hell am I bringing another app? It's because, firstly, artists need to be knowledge makers, and we need to shake up things and make the iPhone a place that includes other people. What made you think of the name Flipsicle? Flipsicle, firstly, I didn't want to take myself too seriously, so it is on whimsical side, flip and flipping perspectives. Ah, that's lovely. And take it easy kind of a policy. So everyone, take it easy, flip it over, and see the new perspective. Thank yes. you, Raghavan. Thank, Thank you so, you so much. much.